everybody, it's the Geek Guy here, and today we're going to be taking a look at a WWE Elite Collection figure. Today's figure, Neville, pre-King and pre-Indies Neville. This was Neville from about 2016. Now, taking a quick look at the packaging, I have opened this figure before and I have displayed him, so that's why you can see I have cut the tape before. So you see, this is for, oh, there's a little bit of dust on there. As you can see, he's from the Raw brand. This current iteration includes the entrance gate. This is the old style of packaging. On the back, we just got a, a nice little picture of him with all those stats, if you want to pause and read that. And then we have the other figures in line, Nasty Boys, Triple H, Xavier Woods, and Kalisto. Inside, we got a nice picture. These are actually different pictures, I believe. Yep, and just Elite Collection, old Elite Collection logo. Now, if we take this figure out of the packaging, So you see, old style packaging, so it doesn't have any wraps or ties around it holding the figure in. Now, whether or not you like that, that's kind of personal opinion. I personally think I like this more. Let me remove the accessory. All right, here is Neville out of the packaging. Let me get him situated. Move the camera. All right. Now, as you can see, this is Neville out of the packaging horse is a little bit loose. Now, taking a quick look at the uh, details, we'll start with the face scan. I really think that's a really good likeness of Neville, especially since this was pre-FX. Uh, All I will say is, like, his, uh, like, down here about, like, his um, cheekbones are a little bit small. I think that's a little bit smaller than he, uh, you know, actually is in real life. I don't think, that, I think it's a little bit disproportionate. He's got the nice flowing hair. <clears throat> Excuse me. Although, because it was packaged with the uh, robe over it, it is kind of floaty, so I guess you, if you wanted to, you could take a heat gun. I mean, obviously, this isn't a problem that's going to be common with all the figures. There's probably going to be a few exceptions. Taking a quick look at the attire details, we have his nice uh, trunks with the man that gravity forgot symbol. Some nice white accents. A little bit weird. It's off center right there. So it's a little bit of a complaint. The nice purple attire. I really like this. It really pops. Looks a little bit uh, different. You don't see a whole lot of purple in wrestling, it seems. Uh, you got the nice wrist gauntlets. Come down, you have the black tape over the knees with the solid gray knee pads. And you have these really nice boots. Boots are a little bit sloppy in paint. But altogether, not too bad. I really like the uh, the white on the purple. I think it looks really nice. Now, uh, the tor I don't remember, I'm not really good with like what torsos these are for. But I feel like this torso is like a little bit too ripped. Especially if we bring in the box. This current Neville wasn't, like, obviously he's much, if you've seen him recently, he's, like, absolutely ripped. And this is a better torso for that. But for this iteration, I feel like, you know, it's just a little bit too much. I don't feel like it's too accurate, but it's really good. And it's a little bit more slender, so you can get some more. It's got, like, a lot of uh, a really nice ab crunch. So you can get some better cruiserweight moves. Now, speaking of the ab crunch, let's take a look into articulation, starting with the head. You have 360-degree rotation, which is going to be hindered quite a bit by the hair. You have up and down movement, which is, you know, you can look down that much, look up that much. His arms, or should I say his shoulders, have a nice 360 swivel ball joint. And they have a hinge up and down. And you can get his arms pretty close there. Obviously, it's going to get hindered by the top of the rib cage right there. Move the arms out, and he has a bicep swivel, 360 degrees, ab crunch, I'm sorry, arm, uh, elbow crunch, movement at the wrists, and a joint. Okay, and then you have, oh, let me put the arms up, you have a nice ab crunch where you can look up backwards this far, down this far. Obviously, uh, this is a staple of the Elite Collection. You won't find this on the basics. Nice 360 degree uh, hip rotation, or waist rotation. Uh, you have nice thigh joints, go out this far, really nice range of movement. Probably because he has the uh, the trunks, not very hindered. We'll say that it, uh, I'm, so you can see this pretty much in real life, where the skin tone doesn't match. It's It looks a lot worse on camera than it does in real life, but it's definitely noticeable in real life, so that might be, that's kind of a complaint. He has a uh, swivel at the thigh, 360 degree rotation. Double jointed knees, staple of the Elite Collection, as well as the arm, or the, I'm sorry, the leg outwards bend. And then he has a swivel at the boot cut. And lastly, 
Does he have the hinge joints? I, I see a hinge, but they ain't moving. Oh, there we go. Sorry, you can't really see that, but yeah, he does have a hinge joint at the uh, ankle. Ankle rockers, and he has a little bit of ankle pivot, like not not too much, but just enough. Oop, sorry. Oop, I dropped him, <laughs> just like WWE dropped him. Ooh, that was horrible. I apologize. All right. Now this would not be a 2016 Neville without one defining accessory, and that is his nice robe. This is made of a very pliable plastic. You have the logo on the front. It always bugged me that the logo doesn't exactly match up with like the shuriken. That's uh, really annoys me. In the back, same logo, and he has the sculpted hood. Hood is not. It would have been nice if they did like an AJ thing where like you could lay, put this over the hood so you can have the hood on him. I don't even know if he ever wore the hood. I can't remember too well. But it would have been nice to have that, you know, just slip that over the hood. But, you know, guess there's no going back now. Now, if we put this on the figure, it's really easy. All you have to do is put it over his neck, tuck it underneath the hair if you want. Put his little arms down. And then just snap it in. There we go. And it looks really nice on him. I think, you know, it's not too floaty. I think, uh... I don't know if people like actually thought it was, but I feel like you know it, it, this could have been a lot worse. Uh, and that's not me bashing Mattel; that's just the way that plastic hangs in the body. But I think it looks really nice. You're not really gonna be able to get like the crouching thing. I mean, like you will a little. I think you could definitely get some nice poses, but you know it's not gonna look that great. And you're not gonna really be able to get like when he turns around and puts his arms up or anything. You're not gonna be able to get a whole lot of that. But it looks nice just for him to sit there with it on. Kind of looks like a, an old tiny king or something like that. I guess he was the king of the cruiserweights. So that's gonna pretty much wrap up this review. Uh, I, all in all, final thoughts. I really I like this figure a lot. I think it has a lot of artic uh, I, like the articulation is really good. It has a lot of great potential potential for moves. I can barely speak today. Uh, it, it, it looks really nice. I think it's a good representation aside from, you know, like some major, major, not major, minor splotches. The worst part about this figure, I think, is like the torso looks a little bit off. And that cloth is always nice, but, you know, you can't do cloth with everything. And I understand why they didn't, uh, you know, and maybe that wouldn't have worked. I don't know. I'm not Bill Makita. So if you guys like this review, be sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, all that jazz. Uh, hopefully I'll start getting more consistent with my reviews. Um, you know, the busyness of s fall is starting to wrap up. I should be able to get some more reviews out. I have one confirmed review. I'm waiting on a figure to arrive. Other than that, I'll just keep trying to keep cranking them out. So, if you enjoyed the video, smash that like. No, I'm not finishing that. Be sure to, uh, you know, do all the stuff you do on YouTube and have a great day. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye. <laughs>